Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. The 2022 U.S. Open is done and dusted, and the curtains close on the Grand Slam season. We went out with a bang in a lot of ways, with the celebration starting in week one as tennis fans said goodbye to Serena Williams, and running the full fortnight as we closed with the anointing of Carlos Alcaraz, the first teenager to win the U.S. Open in 32 years. Here's our milestone moments from the 2022 U.S. Open. First, Serena. Her legendary career comes to a close, and the 40-year-old said goodbye in style. She won two matches in New York, bringing her U.S. Open record to 108 and 15. Those 108 wins are more than any other women, and so are Serena's 367 Grand Slam wins. It was the perfect send-off for a champion who finishes her career with 23 Grand Slam singles titles. Still the most of any player, male or female, in the Open era. Next up, Carlos Alcaraz. 19-year-old Carlito raised the bar in Queens this year just by reaching the final. The Spaniard won three consecutive five-setters, including a dramatic five-hour, 15-minute epic in the quarterfinals against Jonic Sinner, where he saved a match point. In the final on Sunday, Alcaraz capped off his run with a victory over Casper Ruud. He becomes the seventh man to win the U.S. Open after saving match points earlier in the tournament. He becomes the youngest U.S. Open champion in 32 years since Pete Sampras won back in 1990. He becomes the youngest Grand Slam champion in over 17 years since Nadal won his first Roland Garros title in 2005. And by rising to number one, Carlos Alcaraz becomes the youngest number one in ATP history. Just wow and well done, Carlitos. Next up, Francis Tiafo. The 2022 U.S. Open was a coming-of-age tournament for Big Foe, 24 years old. He found his game and his focus to reach his first Grand Slam semifinal in New York. Tiafo becomes the first American man to reach the semis at a major since Andy Roddick way back in 2006. He also becomes the first black man to reach the semifinals at the U.S. Open since the legendary Arthur Ashe in 1972. He was inspired, and we expect to see a lot more next year. Next up, Iga Świątek. The Polish juggernaut was at it again in New York as she expanded her empire to the gritty hard courts of Flushing Meadows by defeating Anne Jabeur in the final. Sviantek, who is 21 years old, becomes the first Pole, male or female, to ever claim the U.S. Open singles title. She also joins a group of just five active women who have won three or more Grand Slam singles. That list, Serena Williams, Venus Williams, Naomi Osaka, and Angelique Kerber. Sviantek improves to 59-7 on the season with seven titles. She improves to 3-0 in Grand Slam finals, and she has yet to drop a set in one of those. She has won her last 10 WTA finals in straight sets and has won her last 10 matches against the top 10 players. And here are some more milestones regarding rankings. In addition to Alcaraz hitting number one, we have some other great milestones to cap things off at the U.S. Open. Kasper Ruud rises to number two and becomes the highest ranked Norwegian ever. American Jessica Pagula reached a career high rank of number five in the WTA rankings. 18-year-old Coco Golf cracks the top 10 at number 8 and becomes the youngest woman inside the top 10 since Nicole Vitasova in 2006. And she's the youngest American to do so since Serena Williams in 1999. Those are just a few of the many milestones that were ticked off during the U.S. Open. It was a great event and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. What were the standout moments for you? Join our conversation in the comment section and we'll see you next time.